Hi, uh, good evening. <clears throat> this is Larry, uh, giving you a, a weekly update that, that I, I've been trying to give um, at least from now until the end of the year. Uh, I have a, a, a website that I created back in 2008 called thebibleteam.com, and after being transformed by the Lord through reading His Word, and there's a story behind that. There's actually a testimony on that website about how God took me from being indifferent, lukewarm, um, not having much passion, not having any discipline whatsoever, and uh, after a year of giving myself to him daily through reading scripture and fellowship and prayer, um, he totally trans uh, changed my life. So it's, it's nothing short of miraculous. Let me, let me share, share that with you because I was not a reader at all. Like I said, I didn't have any passion at all. I'm not the same person as I was before that year of 2007. So um, I, that excitement's carried me through. And for the last 10, uh, going on 11 years now, I'm just excited about uh, serving God and telling other people than, than I ever have in my whole life. So, um, so I wanted to share with you some of my plans for the Bible team. And it, we're about um, the most disorganized uh, Group and I don't mean um, disorganized as in um, we don't have it's, it's not chaos. What I'm saying is, I my ministry has no uh, s certain organization. I, I put up a website, the Bible Team, and we meet every uh, night, every Monday night on a on a on a conference call and discuss the Bible. We've been doing that since 2008. So although I don't have any formal group, there's no formal membership. There's no 501c3. We just meet every every week, and some come every week. Some come, you know, as they can. There's no really formal way of uh, of how we do it. We just gather on Mondays and discuss the Bible. It's about as simple as it gets, frankly. Um, so uh, on Saturdays, one Saturday out of the month, I like to have a super Saturday Jesus rally. And uh, where I talk about a certain topic um, that um, I have, uh, I go through uh, uh, some scriptures that, you know, kind of build on that topic. So I kind of make a case for what the Bible has to say about whatever. Um, so this Saturday, I want to talk about how to build a rock solid faith and have peace in 2018. And this is something I'm very uh, intimate with as far as how, how to do it, because I, uh, God's done this in me. and I'm no one special. I'm really, uh, I, I've never been to divinity school or theological seminary. I'm just a regular, ordinary guy. Um, and I'm here to tell you how you can work to have a, to have a, a great faith. And it's scriptural. Um, I'm not talking about working for your salvation. There is no works uh, that we can do to have salvation. Hi, Sean and Melinda. I'm glad you could join me. So it's not about having a salvation based on works, it's about um, just being obedient. Because with knowledge of the gospel and being told that the greatest commandment is to love the Lord your God with all your heart, mind, soul, and strength, it's about pursuing that. It's about what do you do on a daily basis to serve the Lord, to know more about Him, to seek Him. And the Bible all throughout exhorts us, uh, 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 shows us, tells us, that we should continually seek God. It's not something that you get saved 10 years ago, and then you say, oh, okay, I got that uh, off my checklist. I'm saved. And then you go back to business. No, we need to be about our Father's business. It's all about being like Christ. So um, the message on Saturday is how to build a rock-solid faith and have uh, peace in 2018. Because uh, there's a lot. We need, we need to have peace. If we're going to be uh, sons and, and daughters of God, uh, that should be like a trademark. We should have peace to more people because we have hope. We have, uh, we have a faith in a, in, a, in a God that's going to take care of us and watch over us. And so if anyone should have peace, it should be us that know God because we know he's got a plan. We know that he's going to take care of us. We know that um, at the end of the day, we are going to uh, reside with him eternally. Um, so every every year, I uh, invite people to join in reading the Bible. Um, and I, I used to preach and promote 
uh, reading through the whole Bible, which I think is always a great idea. But I know for some people, uh, it's, it's, it's a challenge, and it's, it can be a burden. I don't want Bible reading to be a burden, but look, if we're going to get to know the God we serve so well so that we can follow him, um, we, we need to get into the Word of God. So I suggest at least the chapter a day. And so there's various plans, and you can, you can uh, consider that. We have uh, less than a month now. It's going to come before you know it. So I like to get um, into people's uh, 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 sight um, so that <clears throat> they can uh, think about, consider what, uh, you know, approaching this next year with a new plan, with a new idea that could change everything. And that's like me. I shared earlier, 2007, uh, this plan of reading through the Bible changed me forever. So not only you reading the Word of God, but um, think about someone else to read along with you, because that will change everything. Reading by yourself is great, but sharing that, uh, you know, on a weekly basis, however you want to work it out, with a spouse, with a friend, with a neighbor, someone that you just want to meet, maybe get to know more, because two things happen. I've shared this before. You become closer to God, and you become closer to the other person you read with. So the plan is to get people into the Word of God, get a, a daily reading plan. And then that's, that's what it took for me. I'm not saying you have to have a plan, but I, I'm saying for me, it's, it was difficult to read anything without, you know, you refinish a book, and then it's kind of where do you go from there. And some people don't need a plan, and I'm not saying you need a plan. And then for some people, I know some people have a hard time um, reading in, in general. And welcome, John, Rick, and Barbara. Thank you for joining me. Some people have a hard time reading in general. They might be dyslexic. It could give them a headache. And I, I want to appreciate, I, I want to appreciate that and, and, and acknowledge that. And, uh, and therefore, you can uh, listen to the Word of God. I think Barbara shared with me before that she listens to the Word of God. Someone else that Neil Guest did uh, years ago, and it showed me that we're we're not all great at reading, but sometimes it's it's learning, and it's you know, God can you know teach us in many different ways, of course. So we read the word, we listen to the word, and however it takes to get his truth into our brains, which will lead to transformation. It's about allowing God to renew our minds, um, Romans uh, 12, 1 and 2. Um, so uh, every year I have an invitation to join us, read the Bible with us. You don't have to get on our Monday night conference calls. Just, you know, if you just start reading, that's, that's my prayer. And, and, and it's a funny thing is, I sometimes have no idea who's going to be reading, who's not going to be reading. So uh, every once in a while, someone will say, hey, I'm reading. And it's like, hey, that's great. <laughs> because uh, that's what it's all about. It's about building the kingdom uh, by getting the saints into the word of God so that they can learn to love the Lord our God all the more. And it gives them strength, gives them courage, all the great things that come from reading the word of God. I'm that one guy that tells people, read your Bible, you know, other than the pastors do. And I don't think the pastors do it enough, frankly. Um, so there's the invitation to read with us, and we, uh, we typically have an annual kickoff call. So at the beginning of January, maybe the last weekend of December, I'm not sure how it's going to work out, I want to have an annual kickoff call, and that way uh, I just get people up to date with what we do in the Bible team. It's kind of a, a orientation, if you will, about the Bible team. And uh, if someone needs help, like tips, because it's a challenge, let's face it to read the whole Bible or to read even the Old Test the whole New Testament. That's a chapter a day. Um, on work, uh, weekdays, you can do that. But it's not easy. It's not easy to develop the habit. And I can tell you one thing that I know for sure is that if there's one thing Satan or the devil does not want you to do, it's to read your Bible. I guarantee you. Because it's still a challenge for me some days to open it up. Um, because it just it, you, things creep in. Um, but I'm telling you, you will be a changed individual if you develop that habit. And I'm telling you, God wants to help you develop that habit. You can guarantee, I can guarantee that. So, so we have our, uh, uh, Saturday, uh, we have our, uh, message, how to build a rock solid faith and have peace in 2018. Um, and then, um, we have Monday night Bible calls. So today's Monday. You're welcome to join us. Anybody's welcome to join us. Those that love Jesus and love, uh, you know, the Word of God. They're welcome to join us every Monday night. Uh, welcome, Nathaniel. It's good to have you on here. Um, so, guys, you guys have a great week. And uh, uh, come and see and taste the Lord because he is good. So uh, that's what uh, I'm all about. That's my passion. So you guys have a great week, and God bless, and I'll see you soon.